Hey, it's Rebecca with Rainnail Studio, and today I'm just going to walk you through my toe polish service. So first things first, we're going to start with some hot towels. This step is just to help the client relax a bit and soften up the skin and toenails just a little bit. Uh, first, of course, I spray the feet with sanitizer, and then I will wrap the towels and apply just a bit of pressure around the client's foot, giving them, you know, a light massage. Once I remove the towels, I make sure to add a dry towel under their feet just to avoid them feeling the dampness from the base, the base towel that I had set. And then I'm going to remove the polish. So this is pretty simple. You just need some acetone and some cotton balls. I use about six cotton balls per client. Um, and these are the small salon ones. So technically it's like three cotton balls, but I feel like this is a perfect add-on service, especially if you are a nail tech that, you know, doesn't want to do pedicures or offer any type of feet services. Of course, you want this to be something that is quick and easy. So it may not be ideal for every client, but for this particular client, it's, super easy because she keeps up with her feet she doesn't have any problematic toenails and it's just an easy add-on so for this service i actually charge twenty dollars because i did my research and at nail salons they're charging between eight and fifteen dollars for just a basic toe polish i do not really offer gel polish to clients unless they ask for it just because of the maintenance and the removal. Once all of the polish is removed, I make sure to trim the nails. Now, with your nippers, you wanna make sure that you're not using too dull of a pair of nippers. Like this set today was pretty dull, so it was taking me a little bit longer to trim her toenails, but of course we go in with a file just to even everything out. And right now, I'll just tell you guys all that I use for a uh, toe polish. So we're going to obviously have the hot towels. We have our nippers. We have a buffer, the mini nail file. And then we have the cleanup brushes for the polish. And then the base and top coat that I use is from OPI. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to shape everything up, take the buffer and buff the toenail. The buffer is going to help to also push back or remove any dead skin because if you notice, I'm not pushing back the cuticles. I always recommend that my clients get a pedicure every other service. So like with this client, when she books her appointments, she'll book a toe polish with her full set. Then the next month, she'll book a pedicure with her full set. And the pedicure is just to help, you know, soften up the skin and toenails a lot more. That way we can get a deeper clean and a deeper cuticle cleanup because I'm not touching the cuticles here. The only cuticles that I'm touching are the ones that come up when I buff the top of the nail. Now, if you can tell on the big toes, this client frequently has the white spots from her always having her toes polished. This client does not take breaks from toe polish, but I really think it's important that all nail techs or nail enthusiasts really educate themselves on exactly what this is. Um, I feel like everybody wants every little thing to be toenail fungus, but education is really important. So. The one thing that's going to help get rid of those is obviously filing the top of the nails, which usually the buffer does get rid of. Um, but if the buffer is not doing the job properly, I would just take my mini file and file that right off and you'll have a nice clean toenail. So I do not have a nail dust brush for toes because it's toenail dust. Okay, you guys, for this particular step, when I'm removing the dust, I just make sure to use my towel. I don't want to reuse a dust brush on everyone because everyone has something different going on with their toes and the chances of spreading something are really high when it comes to toe services. So I'm just going to brush the toes off with the towel and then I'm going to spray them down and then wipe them with the Nolan wipes 
to make sure I remove the excess dust before I start polishing. And the toe separators that I like to use are just the single ones, just because they're easier to apply. Just had to add that in there. Um, before I start polishing, of course, I do apply cuticle oil just so that my clients are not, you know, walking around with dry, crusty toes right after their service. I do not recommend applying cuticle oil uh, after you polish just because I know that the polish is not all the way dry and you know the oil could help lift that product off of the toenail so I just use this little brush just to spread everything around and I definitely try to avoid touching the nail plate as much as possible now I will go in and cleanse the nail again just to get it a little bit more dehydrated and to remove any cuticle oil that may have gotten on the nail plate during this step. All right, that's pretty much it for this add-on service. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Make sure that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you want some more toe slash petty content. Follow me on Instagram at Becca B underscore. Again, my name is Rebecca and I hope to see you soon.